Hey guys, I'm Vincerani. This is the last part of Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Um, and that's okay with me because I had a good time, but it was very stressful trying to win all the time. And I think for this last one, we're going to go back to our roots. That's right. This guy. Yep. I play this Toad so much that Nintendo is under the impression that he's my favorite racer. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true. He, um, I, I mean, at least as a person, or as a Toad, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I made a really weird audio wave. Um, so I'm pretty sweaty at this point just from trying so hard to win at this game and getting stressed out. We're in Neo Bowser City. It's the city that never sleeps. Um, which is exciting because it's very dangerous to sleep at the wheel. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that lens effect, dude. That's... This is the freaking future that we've been waiting for in terms of, like, Nintendo games, dude. It's all about the freaking. It's all about that lens flare. Doesn't. Ow! Doesn't really make sense, because I can definitely peer right over my windshield. This is a cool song. I wonder if they'll make more DLC for this game, because I like all the courses in this game. But what I would like even more is more. even more courses. Whoa. Well, that green shell is. On a mission. Oh, I'm going really fast. Okay. Man, I am so much better at this game when I can see the full screen. I don't have to share it with friends that are hanging out with me. Oh, I should just not have friends anymore. Dude, the, the thing that sucks about friends is they take up the space on your Mario Kart screen. It's just, you know, one of the many drawbacks. Don't hit me with your green shell, Waluigi. I am not in, into that, you know. I don't appreciate that. I noticed the other day that. It's actually, I, I had one friend, his name is Chaz, and he was saying appre ap appreciate, I'm trying to remember how he said it, appreciate, he was saying appreciate, instead of appreciate, and I was just thinking, oh, it's weird that he does that, but then my girlfriend started doing it too, so I'm starting to think that maybe, like, everyone says, or, like, it's like a 50-50 divide, like how some people say either and some people say either, some people say appreciate, some people say appreciate. But well, that seems really weird. That seems like the way Hank Hill would say appreciate. What do you guys say? Let me know in the comments below. It's not a shameless call to action because I'm actually curious. I, um, I don't like calls to action because oftentimes they just seem like really uninspired to me. That was good timing. Thanks, Red Shell. Well, they seem really uninspired. Like, like I know one guy did like... I hate it. You guys know I hate everything. He made, He's a really awesome YouTube channel, honestly. I'm really into his stuff, and I'm not shitting on him in any way. But I was very taken aback by the fact that he did this. He usually does, like, a call to action in the end of his videos where he's like, yeah, leave a comment, and I'll pretend I care. And it's like, you know, he's just, you know, that you're supposed to do that. He's, he's still a great guy, from what I can tell. I mean, you never know what kind of person someone really is on the internet. But, um... Including me, you don't really know what kind of person I am. I feel like I do a pretty accurate portrayal of what I'm really like in real life, especially in these videos. But his call to action was like, are you, um, you know, Sonic or Mario? And I was like, wow, like, does he actually care? I wonder, probably not. Like, I wouldn't, like, you guys can tell me you like better, but I'll, I don't fucking care. Like, why do I care about that? What am I, 12? You know? And, like, I'm not saying he's 12 for caring about that. I'm saying that it's just really unlikely that he gives a fuck about that kind of thing. So I like to do like I like to do calls to, calls to action that are like you guys got to tell me things that I actually wonder about in people maybe a psychological call to action. I think it's also good evidence that I actually care because I don't like um you know I don't do it in every video. I just like it's kind of like an afterthought when I'm like oh wait you guys can actually tell me and then I can get a reading on these things. This is a cool course idea. There's a red shell definitely closing in on me, but I have a banana. So at least I can eat the pain away. I don't honestly, getting a used banana, it's kind of offensive. You know, like, what the heck, dude? Also, banana peels aren't that slippery. You guys ever try to slip on one? It's actually a little challenging to slip on a banana peel on purpose. I guess it'd have to be on the right surface, though. Like, uh, maybe, I don't know. I've done it on a hardwood floor. I tried it in my house, I think. Might have been carpeted at that point, though, so I can't remember. But I'd like to think I'm not that stupid. Obviously, a banana is not going to make you slip on a carpet. Whoa, that was a close one. 
That's some advanced frame perfect strats, guys. Good thing Toda's good accelerate. Too bad Toda's bad drifting. Good thing I was really far ahead. Good thing I have a banana. Man, this game is just an array of goods and bads. But luckily I got that blue shell out of the way. And I'd say it's as likely to get two blue shells in a race in this game as it is to get a blue shell in Mario Kart 64. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of bullshit honestly, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do a, a shout out real quick. Um, this guy has a YouTube channel. His name is Hypercharge. And he makes these, he makes these funny videos called Uncivil Synopsis. And I'm thinking I'm going to reach out to him and see if he wants to collaborate on something. Because his videos are really funny. Uh, you guys should check it out. Um, and if, you, if you're watching this guy, guy who I maybe or may, maybe I do or do not know yet, um, I'm not trying to act like I'm about to give you a bunch of fame. Maybe like 10 new people will start watching your videos. But like, he's funny. Like, honestly, like, I wouldn't be offended. I wouldn't even know about it if you guys were to stop watching this right now and go check those out. Because like... Those are like scripted, so like, or from what I, from what you can tell, you would assume they're scripted. So like, there's like thought that goes into the humor, whereas I'm totally just farting around right now. But you guys should check out those videos. They're like really funny. I the first one I watched was like, is Paper Mario doomed? Because there's a new Paper Mario game coming out, and it's gonna suck, dude. I can already tell. Everyone can already tell. And I don't mean to be a pessimist, but like, I I don't know. I can't really say anything that hasn't already been said. They're calling it an action adventure game. But, like, Paper Mario is, like, an RPG, and it's very strange that they've lost sight of that. Or are trying to market it differently. But I don't know. I would assume that they're, the people they have in marketing are somewhat, like, they have to kind of know what they're doing. Right? Like, they don't just hire unqualified people who are just out of touch. That wouldn't make sense. Like, basically, what I'm, what I'm thinking is it doesn't make sense for them to get a job when they have degrees in a field that I feel like I could do a better job in. And I don't even have a degree, you know? So I'm assuming there's more that goes into it than I would think. There's gotta be. Because they're just fucking up really hard right now. But like, like you can just tell that Paper Mario game isn't going to be good. You know? It looks really like, it looks like, like I, I, I didn't know that everyone else hated Sticker Star. I thought it was just me. Because I didn't get enough time to play it. I like stopped playing it. kind of kind of lost interest. Because I was like, I'd rather do something else with my time. Nothing against the game, just because, like, I felt that, like, oh, cool, that worked. I felt like I had things to do, you know? I'm a pretty busy person these days. And I was like, I'm just I'm just not into this game personally. I bet it's not that bad. And then I look at reviews, and it's like, yeah, people fucking hated that game. Someone told me about the new Paper Mario. I actually only, I didn't even find out about it from, like, the trailer or anything. My, um, my girlfriend's cousin was talking about it, because he's really into Paper Mario, I would assume. Oh, Blue Shell, you're kidding me. Did I? No, I don't know. I said something about Blue Shell, but that was a while back. Um, but yeah, and he was, and I was like, well, new pair of Mario game for a console? Is it going to be good? And he was like, no, people hate it. And I was like, oh, really? That's not good. I would love to have a, a new Paper Mario game that's like the old ones. I think everyone would. I, I'm like, you know, if you grew up with those games as a kid, like, they are incredibly immersive. I saw the music and the atmosphere, they're just like, they're great games. It really sucks that, like, Nintendo is deciding to try to take it in a different direction. I don't know. I've always thought, though, like, I thought this about the Mario Party games, because they're kind of bad now, too. I, from what I can tell, I think other people don't like them. I didn't really like the cart mechanic. I have a Mario Kart, or Mario Party 9. I have a Mario Party 9 Let's Play on this channel, if you guys are interested. I never finished it, and I accidentally skipped Part 2. But it's there. And anyway... So, um, I should probably get back to that. It was on a Wii emulator, and it looks really good. It's in, like, a like actual HD. But, yeah, so, like, I was thinking, like, why are they doing this cart mechanic and only and not making it optional, you know? People probably just want another Mario Kart. But I guess the idea is that, like, if you want, um, you know, if you want that gameplay style, you could just play that game again, you know? And I guess that kind of works for Mario Party, because there's so many to pick from. Like, there's like, you have eight Mario Parties to pick from. 
so that logic kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, I still like new environments, I still like revamps, and I still like the uh, new mini games that don't have motion controls. Like, the mini games in Mario Party 9 were really fun to play. It was just that I didn't really like the car mechanic, because I felt like... Oh, that was cool. That worked out in my favor. I didn't think those mini games would help me. The car mechanic's not great just because, like... Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that gonna fuck me? No. Okay, um... The car mechanic wasn't great because, like... I don't know. I forget what I was talking about. Honestly, I'm sorry. I gotta win. Gotta, gotta win in order to win. It's a true statement that I just made. Get out of my way! Oh my god, he had so many items. I'm doing well though, I don't think I could possibly lose. Man, that's those are some cool lines. That sax player is going crazy. He had a banana! Dude, that's my strat, yo. No, no, no. I have a banana now, so we're in the clear. Not to mention, that's the finish line. Oh no, but I'm on things that make you go slow! I can get three stars. I can get three stars if I just win. Oh my god, yes. Okay. But long story short, I guess what you could say is, if you want to play the uh, old Paper Mario style, you should just go back and play those games. I don't agree with that logic, though. I just think that's an argument that you could make. But I would love it if they wrote a new story and everything. Because I really like the story in the old games, and I like the environments, and I like the... It's just so immersive. But yeah, let's, um... Yeah, let's view the results. I don't know if credits will roll. I'm assuming they will, because that's the last DLC course. But I really don't know. Either way, I can't leave in the credit music. I'll get in a lot of trouble, and... Nintendo will tell me, like, you know... Nintendo will be like, Oh no, don't worry about it. You can keep the video up. We'll take the money. It's fine. We'll take the money. Don't even worry about the money. We'll just take it. But, like, you can keep the video up. So, yeah. Well, Rosalina passed me in slow motion. Toad looked like he was, like, about to shit himself. Alright, well, that's actually all the time I have. I got three stars, so that's really cool. That's all the time I have to play this game today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for games that I could do like this, where I can just talk about anything, seriously, let me know. I would love that, because I am, like, out of ideas after this. So, anyway, for now, I'm Adventure Randy, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.